how it was Poe who said that the death of a beautiful woman is the most affecting subject for literary art. Uh, Miss Lewison. Miss Lewison, do you think Henry James was foreshadowing the modern feminist movement? Well, he sure isn't foreshadowing the sexual revolution. <laughs> right, but we're talking about the 1870s here. This girl is practically crucified for holding hands in public with a guy who's not her fiancé. Right, but isn't James trying to make a statement about Daisy's independence? Yes, and she pays for it. He goes and kills her. Very good, Miss Lewison. Okay, okay. I want everybody else to finish reading Daisy Miller for Monday. Thank you. That's all. I don't know if you've seen the flyers yet, but uh, my band's playing Friday night at the Wild Coyote, and I thought, Oh, well, you know, you know they haven't posted the names yet, but I uh, think I'm traveling with the team to the practice meet in Portland. Oh, great. I mean, for you. But if you get back on Saturday, you know... Saturday, Saturday is the travel day, and then I have all this laundry, and I have to get my paperwork in for my Chinese fellowship, so... Well, Sunday. Oh, you know, I've sworn off going with guys in bands. Well, it's not a very good band. I... You see the review in the, in the student voice? They called us a uh, derivative with no sense of rhythmic identity. Oh. You know, I'm... I, I'm sorry, Jax. I just have a really heavy class load, and plus I've uh, started seeing somebody. <laughs> okay, ladies, I want to start with some split training. Lewison, can I see you for a sec? I, uh, I thought you were going to post the team today. I am. Well, I, I've been playing some great times, you know. Every meet, I keep, keep moving up. Laurel, as coaches, our job is to protect the health of our student-athletes. And an eating disorder can be a real problem. Did, did my mother talk to you? She was concerned enough to drive all the way here and let us know of your condition, yeah. Concerned? No, Sticking her nose where it doesn't belong. All right, look, before you start going off on your mom, when you first tried out for this track team, you were asked about any medical conditions. Yeah, okay, I, I dealt with that. I went in for treatment. Frankly, Laurel, I can see you've been dropping weight. I'm hitting my peak. No, you're overtraining. <sighs> you're not taking me, right? Kyla Butler is a senior, and she's worked very hard. But I beat her by more than a minute at the Imitationals. Laurel, I'm sorry, but it's not always about who's best. <sighs> you know what? Let's make this easier for everyone. I quit. Laurel, come on. What right do you have to keep crashing and trying to run my life and screw up everything? I worry about you, honey. You don't know your limits. You do too much. I am taking care of myself. I'm way more conscientious. You chose a double major. You're studying for China, and on top of all that, you do all this running. Yeah. It's called growing up, Mother. Honey, I realize I can get out of hand. Can we make a deal? I promise not to stick my nose in your business. You promise me you won't get in over your head. <laughs> well, I... I met this great guy, Mom. And he's really funny and he's smart. And guess what? He's not in a band. Mm hmm Can I meet him? Well, I guess one of these weekends I can ask him to come down with me to Seattle. On one condition, though. I promise. No, no judgment. judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. 
the only time in her life she's ever been on time. Hi, darling. Hi. Well, Hi. you make good time. Yeah. Oh, no, it smells good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, home cooking again, huh? Sorry, darling. Bringing you up alone and working did not leave any time for cooking lessons. Sue me. I'm kidding, all right? Oh, Mom, you, uh, you might want to put the oven on. My lips are sealed. So where is he? Oh, he, uh, he just ran down to Pioneer Square to get some flowers. But, Mom, act surprised, okay, when he comes. You bet I'll act surprised. None of your other boyfriends ever brought anything but laundry. I think you're really gonna like him. Look at this. I'm impressed. I think he likes me. <laughs> wait, Mom. Wait, 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 Mom. Be nice, be nice. I promise. <laughs> okay. Mom? I'd like you to meet Kevin Shane. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Laurel didn't tell me you were such a terrific cook. Thank you so much. Uh, so, anyone want coffee with dessert? Coffee's a really good idea, considering we have that two-hour ride back to campus. Yeah. Ride? Uh, Kevin has a motorcycle. Unfortunately, medical school doesn't leave any money for a car. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll get the coffee started. <clears throat> Shall we? I just hope you don't become one of those overpaid specialists. Well, the misery in this world, I want to use what I learned to help the people that really need it. My father was on the board of directors at CareShare. Really? Yeah. I have a friend who works with CareShare, Dr. Zola. Yeah. It's a great program. Well, it's refreshing to see a young man who wants to help other people. I told Laurel, with her language background, I mean, she should get into journalism. I mean, then we can work in the same places we never have to be apart. Aren't you thinking a little far ahead? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Laurel tells me you lost your parents. Yeah. A helicopter skiing accident in Austria. They were killed with eight other people. The whole side of the mountain came down. Oh. <laughs> they died doing what they loved. Well, is it a serious thing? Sex, mother. The word is sex. Sex, that's what you're really asking, right? Well, honey, if it's gone that far, I hope you're being careful. Yes, mother. That's our deal. I use my head and you let me live my life. Right. Well, I'm just glad he doesn't have a ring for his nose. <laughs> okay, ready to go? You have a ring through my nose? <laughs> Should have told her I was the high priest in the satanic cult. <laughs> Clergy's good. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Not here. I'm gonna be late for lobe. <laughs> So how come you never talk about your father? What happened there? Well, after they divorced, two years later he died. You remember him? No. Not well. Yeah, no. I didn't know my folks either. They're always away. Well, we have that much in common. We have each other, right? Yes. And you will protect me from anyone and everything forever, right? <laughs> Bye.
I'll see you later. <laughs> You said you were going to be at the library. What happened? Where were you? I had to get out and run. For two hours? Uh, Laura, you're not on the team anymore. What, what are you, my bodyguard now? <laughs> well, yeah. What a body. I got worried. You know, you're, you're not supposed to be here. It's not a co-ed dorm. Why didn't you return my calls? What? Is there an emergency? Were you bleeding to death? Well, yeah, when I don't see, I bleed to death. I have to go copy my notes for study group. But let's do something really fun on Saturday. Saturday? That's oh, four days night. from now. Four days you'll have to really appreciate me. Can't you me? see that I am crazy about you? I got plans. I want a future for you and me. I, I, I don't have a life unless you're in it. Well, wait. You know, maybe this is moving a little too fast. Oh, you don't even like me. Where did you get that from? Of course I do. You know I like you. Come on, just call me Saturday, okay? Oh, now I have to call. Kevin, please. No, 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 no. Fine. What? Whatever. You need your space, right? No, I... Laura, is he gone? I'm sorry. God. Flowers were really beautiful. They really touched me. What time is it? You wanna come in? No, I'm I'm already late for class. After each fight, my father would bring me these coloring books. And he would bring my mother these huge bouquets of flowers. And eventually, I guess there was more fights and less flowers. I never stopped the flowers. 
that stuff the other day at the dorm. I was way over the top. Yeah. You just, you kind of got in my face. I know. I have this thing about being abandoned, you know, and when you wanted to send me away, I thought I was never going to see you again. Like my parents. I wasn't sending you away. I want to get closer. I want to, I want to get close to you too. I love, I love you so much. How you're doing. I can't keep up with your love life, but if you're still seeing that motorcycle guy, Kevin Shane, well, if not, I wanted to ask you about my inviting this terrific law student who's been helping me around the office. Let me know, okay? Love you. Bye. You keep talking about all these plans, but by the time you get out of medical school, I mean... Things change. People change. Not us. We're gonna be together. I know it. I don't think I'm a snob, but I just... I don't know about chasing plagues and famines. I mean, whatever happened to good old-fashioned family medicine? I just think that it's something that I've got to do. It's, it's something that... But... I've been given an opportunity to put back some good. <laughs> You're turning me into an oil slick. <laughs> Sorry, I, uh, I just want to keep your body perfect. <laughs> Hardly perfect. Come on. It's the truth. <laughs> what, you're laughing? No, no, it's just sometimes you get so serious. <laughs> I am serious. I mean... So close to the perfect woman. I'll never be perfect. Have you ever thought how you'd look as a blonde? <laughs> you would be spectacular. I think you're trying to turn me into something that I'm not. Sexy, beautiful, hot. So incredibly hot. My mom would have a conniption. <laughs> Your mother's jealous. She's always going to try to keep you down. Shut up. My mom does not want to keep me down. <laughs> you want me to prove it?
for you. Thank you. That's beautiful. Come on in. So, what do you think? I miss going up there last summer. I need to drive up there and check it out. I haven't been there in about six months. Can't you just call the caretaker? I don't mind going. Gives me a chance to enjoy the place without all the kids and jet skis. Well, it's not that far. You know, I can go up there some morning. It terrifies me to think of you driving around in that car. Why don't you let me help you find something more reliable? I like my car. Besides, it's finally paid off. Kevin says it uh, just needs some timing adjustments. Well, whatever Kevin says, I am not taking you off my auto club card. You know, if you decide to come up... Here, just bring these. These? Yeah. Kevin's always talking about making some big dinner. Last summer, he was a sous chef at some resort in Aspen. I thought he said he volunteered with CareShare. I don't know. Maybe it was two summers ago. <sighs> that first dinner... He must have known it was takeout. No, he thought it was great. I can make a reservation at Saddle Restaurant. You don't have to put on the axe anymore. I know that you hate him. When did I ever say that? Look, Mom, this is the first guy who truly gets me. He understands me. He wants me in his life. In fact, I've decided to go volunteer with him next summer in Guatemala. Guatemala? What about China? Honey, you work so hard to get that fellowship. Kevin's right. It's the point of studying languages when people are incapable of real communication. Honey, this doesn't sound like you at all. Yeah, well, it is me. I guess you better get used to it. Hey, Ben. Jessica, what are you doing here? I know you. If you're not with your patients, you're on your boat. <laughs> Hi. Is something wrong? I hope not. It's just... It's probably nothing, but, um... I need some information. How can I help? Well, you're still with CareShare, right? Yes, why? Well, Laurel's been seeing a young man. And the relationship troubles me. I wanted to find out more about him. And how does CareShare fit in? His father was on the board. You mean Ivan Kinsolver? No, the family name is Shane. As far as I know, there's never been a Shane on the board. Well, not anymore. He died in a skiing accident last year. Well, it couldn't be CareShare. There hasn't been a board vacancy in three years. It's a gold card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shane. That is the name as it appears on the card. Kevin Shane. My mother's maiden name. <clears throat> uh, 
uh, yeah, Vickery. As in Vickery Dickery Doc. <laughs> What? Lost? Stolen? I, I really don't know. Is there some way that we can... Well, if you can pull it up on the computer, then we can go over the last charge records. Yeah, that might help. Yeah. Thursday in Whistler. No, yeah, no, that was me. I've been on the road. Okay. Friday in Vancouver. No, that's me again. So what is what is the last charge record that you show? Reservation guarantee. In Seattle? Where? The motor in. Tomorrow. Kevin Shane. Philly Jones. Yeah. Hey, what a surprise. Wait, you changed. What's different? No, not much. Oh, my hair. So what, are you staying here? No, no, I'm working. Maintenance and stuff. <laughs> so what made you move to Seattle? Finally decided I want a first-class education. This seems like the place to be. Oh, that's good, man. <laughs> Just never got the impression you're on the college track. Yeah. Hey, look, be a buddy and grab the rest of my bags from the Jeep, huh? for the grad bash. No. After my family died, I just packed my Jeep and left. Weren't you already admitted to college? Yeah, but I just kind of needed some time for myself, you know? Oh, now I'm ready to get back. <laughs> All right, the man is back. We ought to celebrate. The first thing I'm going to do is hit the shower and get rid of this road grind. I mean, weren't you trying to get into her shorts or something? I was just a kid. So what happened? Did she show up? I just told you I don't know. All right. Hey, Billy, you want to throw me some shampoo? It's in my shaving kit. Billy, come on. Today. <laughs> locker rooms to shame mom. <laughs> Go girls. Yeah. <laughs> Help? Mm hmm say anything, but we need to talk about Kevin. What about Kevin? I mean, who is he? What do you really know about him? What's to know? He's the boy I love and want to be with. <laughs> Honey, there are just some things that don't add up. Things that Kevin told me about himself and his family. Okay, so he's a little insecure and he tends to embellish. I'm not talking about embellishment. Look, I think he's doing amazingly well, considering his whole family was wiped out. This is about his family. 
I saw Dr. Zola today, and he told me something about it. You've been snooping, right? Laurel, please. There's, no, you know what? You seem to forget that we had a bargain here. And look, you're still trying to run my life. for you when you get back. I cut a deal with these people. Oh, it's perfect. And, and, and there's trails everywhere. You can run, you can study in peace. Oh. It is awfully far out. Well, that's the whole point. So how do they camp to see? Too small? You don't like the color? I mean, tell me. I'll paint it. I'll fix it. I'll, I'll, I'll drywall it. <laughs> no, I just... I kind of feel like you're pushing. Oh, no. Oh. It's not up to your high standards. Is that it? You know, nothing I ever do is good enough for you. What? No. I love everything that you do. Look, I, I'm just now getting a sense of who I am. It just feels so impulsive. I know, I know. I should, I should be a little more hang loose. But if I would hold back the way I feel about you, then I would, I would explode. <laughs> you don't want me to go climb a tower with a gun, or do you? No. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to do that. You can go home anytime you want. I'm just too cautious. No, you're not. I mean, it's fine. We got, we got so much time. We got all the time in the world.
How's it going? I, uh, I got done early. Wanted everything to be done before you got here. Oh, well, uh, can I help with anything? No. Um, <laughs> open the wine. Relax. Okay. Oh, the food looks great. Have you been cooking long? No, about an hour. Oh, hey, did, uh, did the phone guy show up today? Oh, yeah. Still something screwy with the wiring. It's gonna be a couple more days more days. You know, I really don't like being out this bar without a phone. Get out! happening with my daughter? Where is she? If I see her... Don't give me that nonsense. You know perfectly well where she is. Whatever your relationship with Laurel is, I don't want any part of that. I don't believe you, Kevin. I don't believe anything about you. Laurel listens to me now. I don't know what your game is, but I'm going to make sure that Laurel knows you're a liar. Laurel and I are in love. Both of us would rather die than let you come between that love. You know, I, I told my mom how you love to cook. Um, <laughs> and I thought maybe next time she comes up, you could do something special. Because I know if, you know, the two of you got to know each other. You hardly touched your food. Oh, I'm not that hungry. Are you sure? Yeah. Why? No. No, nothing. Nothing. What? what what's going on? I, I'm going to stir things up. What are you talking about? Your mom called me the other day. My mother? Why? What about? To talk about you. I can't believe this. She... She said that... You had an eating disorder? She... she told you? Well, she told me that... She told me that it was an emotional problem and that you had to be put in the hospital. How could she do this? Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to tell you. No. I understand. She is completely against us. Mother set on ruining our relationship. Hey, where, where are you going? 
I'm gonna go call her and tell her to go. No, to... no, 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 no. What? No. That's what she wants. She wants to make trouble. This isn't about your mother. This is about you and me. You and me. I mean, we gotta start our own life. This is our home. You don't have to leave. Nobody is ever gonna run your life again. Ever. it too so i waited around for like over half an hour but she never showed i don't understand any of this Maisie, who is this kevin shane i don't know i mean i know he comes from the denver area pretty much keeps to himself i can't even say i've ever seen him with any friends or anything what do they say at the dean's office nothing no laws have been broken so privacy laws prevent them from giving me any information do you think i'm crazy Am I jumping to wild conclusions? Of course not. Look, I just don't know what set her off. You know, Monday I get back to the dorm and her stuff had been totally cleared out. Nothing. No forwarding address. Nothing. I even tried phoning his apartment, but there was no answer. Friday night, Brian's Orange is playing at Coyote, if you're interested. Thanks, but... Not like a date or anything, just a friend thing. I can't. Why? Oh, because of Kevin. Man, that guy practically owns you. He used to laugh and have such a good time. Hi, this is Laurel Lewison. Okay, I finally got someone at the phone company. I don't know why they can't put a phone there. I mean, they can put a phone anywhere. Yes, yes, I'm still here. No order. Did you look up my name as well? never a phone order. He never put in for a phone order. He lied to me. Jackson, I just, I know that he messed with my car. All he wants to do is keep me a prisoner.
my son will be very grateful. Mm -hmm. He sure left it behind when he moved. Uh -huh. I'll be upstairs. Call me when you're done. I told you on the phone, Mrs. Lewison. You are wasting your time coming all the way to Colorado. There's nothing I can do for you. I just didn't know where else to turn. We have nothing on Kevin Shane. His parents died in a ski accident. Nothing suspicious about it. He wasn't even here when it happened. No record. No, I told you. If there was something as a juvenile, it would be sealed. I see. Sorry, look, I'll keep my ear to the ground. If something comes up, I'll call you, okay? Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Excuse me, Detective Unger? Do you know who this girl is, Erin Meadows? Yeah, she disappeared about two years ago. Why? Kevin had a photograph of her in his apartment. I mean, it didn't have the writing on it, but it's the same girl, I'm sure of it. And she looks a lot like my daughter. I busted my butt on that case. The parents were devastated. Nothing ever came of it. Did she know Kevin Shane? They may have gone to the same school, but I have no connection. Could you find out? Yeah, I still have my files, but I would remember. I had a very strong suspicion about a boy named Billy Jones. Name familiar? Oh, no. No, listen, I'm booked out of Denver tonight. Would you please call me if you find out anything? Here's my card. Call collect any time, day or night. Thank you. but I guess your flight left on time. Anyway, I'm faxing you what I have on Kevin Shane. No priors, no juvenile records. Pretty squeaky clean all around. I don't suppose this is much help to you, but it's all we've got. My God, it's not him. Hi, Detective Unger. Thank you for getting back to me. Yes, I just picked up your page. Is everything all right? Well, that picture of Kevin Shane, it's not the same boy. Well, it's the only Kevin Shane we've got. Well, what about that other boy, the one you think killed the girl? Can you get me his picture? Billy Jones? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. I'll get back to you. Okay, thank you. running? I was afraid to turn it off. The guy from the auto club said the wire's missing. I know you did something to it. Honey, I would never... I know you never even placed an order for the phone. Well, someone must have screwed up. Stop lying! All you want to do is keep me locked away here! That is not true. I got this place. I, I took out Elise. I went in to hawk for us. I know you follow me. People see you spying. Your friends are against us. I told you that. Oh, you found someone else. Yeah. How would I have the time? You're all over me every second. Oh, well then take your crap! 
Here, take all of it. Go to hell. What? Are you going to let me out? No, Lord, Lord, Lord. Look, like, I know I'm obsessive, but I wouldn't be like this if I didn't love you so much. No. This is not love. Not a normal love. I don't know what this is. Listen, listen. I know you love me. And I think we just need to step back and relax. I know you love me. Kevin, please! Please! It's okay, let me help you with this stuff. crazy. I don't have a life unless you're in it. Yeah, but I do have a life. Watch it, man. What are you doing? Hey, yeah, stay out of here. Go! 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 ago, they tore the building down, pour a layer of cheap concrete, and bingo. They had a parking lot for the new mall. That was recession time. Now they're at it again. Aaron Meadows disappeared two years ago. Yeah. Why do you think it's Aaron Meadows? Because it's a small town. You really think it's her? Well, we'll find out what pathology's done with the teeth. If they find any.
Welcome back. Just came for my things. I don't need any grief. No. No grief, I swear. I realize now I need help. I need, I need professional help. I drove you away. I know, I know what I did. I just, I never learned to trust love or... Oh, one minute you could, you could be so sweet and wonderful. No. It's going to take the kind of time it breaks the mountains down. There were good times, though, right? I mean, there were some good times, you know? Weren't there? I have to leave. I know, I know. I won't hold you. Yeah. Please! Okay, I'll just let you... I just, I won't feel like such a failure if we can just end, end as friends, you know? Please. We just toast the good times. Jones. Are you sure? Yes. He's a killer and he's got my daughter. That boy is a killer. The boy was knocked around a few foster homes. That doesn't make him a killer. You talked to Detective Unger? They found that girl's body. He's got to be a suspect. A suspect in what may or may not be a homicide. They haven't identified the body yet. Officer, my daughter is missing. Mrs. Lewison, I understand how you feel. I have a daughter myself. My hands are tied. I can't make a move until there's more solid evidence. Like my daughter's body. I'm sorry, Mrs. Lewison. I have to go. screwed this thing up. Yeah, probably that idiot at the dealership. No guarantees. I'm right you up. Is this Miss Lewison's card? Yeah. I called it in. I have to have a member sign for it. Well, I'll give it a try if you want, man. Last time I tried, she threw up all over me. Good luck.
See ya. Any way you can put me in touch with Detective Unger? It's about the Aaron Meadows case? Yeah, right here. Uh, well, can you have her page me or something? Yes, that's my cellular number. Please have her call as soon as possible. Thanks. Yeah, you're in the six. Do a full ID. The card was used about an hour ago. Lady! I need to see your card again, and I need some picture ID, please. Okay. Something wrong? Dispatcher says somebody just used the same card about an hour ago. They want me to check. Where did they say? Uh, Barrington, she said. Barrington? That's on the way to my cabinet. Listen, can you fix the tires here? Oh, no way. I got five other calls waiting for me. I really need my car. This is an emergency. Yeah, lady, it is always an emergency. Look, I'll take your car to the shop. They'll fix it there. Will this fix it here? Kevin? This, this is my mother's place. How, how did you find this? What? You don't think Mom will approve of us using it? Love me. God, I love you. And I know you love me. You just need some quiet time away from your friends, your mother. Where are the car keys? Why do you want to leave? This place is perfect. You and me alone. No. No, there's just... There's nothing here. There's no food. There's no phone. Tomorrow morning you sleep in. I'll go out and I'll get us something. Don't. This this is kidnapping. No, 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 no. Ow! Ow! No, this is just a guy and a girl away on a romantic weekend. That's all. I said no. No! No! Why no? Why no, huh? You're thinking about someone else. You're thinking that I'm not good enough. No. Huh? No. Not worthy because of where I come from. Because I never no. had the money. What? Money? What are you talking about? You were the one who was always talking to my parents. I'm scared of your I head. didn't have any parents. What? I, I didn't. My, my, my parents, they were phonies. They were trying to be something that they weren't. They lied to me like you. No. No. No, from I the never beginning, lied. From I the lied beginning, you. you lied. I lied. But I lied about wanting us to break up. It wasn't me who wanted to end this. It was my mother. She hates you because you make me happy. She hates you because I love you. You still love me? To me. No. No, I want you to believe me. If you're lying to me, I'll know by the way you make love to me.
why? Why do you want to leave me? Open it! Come out, we can fix things. Baby, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Come out. Come out. Okay. Just drop the axe first. <laughs> <laughs> Too late.
I want the whole world to know. Where's Billy? Guys, <laughs> how close are you? No, Kevin, don't! No, no Kevin, don't! No. His name is Billy. What? Billy Jones, he lied to you. Shut up! He killed a girl. I told you to shut up, bitch! You killed Aaron Meadows. The police know about you, Billy. They found her body. Give up now. It's too late for that. No! No, Kevin, no! She's the one! She's the one that lied! She lied about you and me from the beginning. She's the one that wanted to bring us up. Look, I believe in you. I made a mistake. I'm so sorry. You still love me. When you're a parent, before I became a parent, I used to worry about overpopulation and the environment and war. And then I became a parent. <laughs> 